here's a tutorial in uh, how to make a scientific poster so this is a scientific poster and uh, what I'm gonna teach you today is how to make this kind of effect here all the pictures here was uh, were taken in a digital camera so as you can see here all of these are digital pictures so the original size of the poster is 36 by 48 and so we need a high resolution images uh, to be put on the on the uh, on the poster so uh, so we're gonna do this kind of effect so first first let's start with this one okay I'm just going to move this over here and uh, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to extract this picture okay so you go to effects because this is a power clipped uh, picture so you go to effects and go to power clip and extract contents so when you extract contents you're gonna see the actual photograph from the digital camera so that's the one and what we did here I'll just move this over on this side what we did here is we made a circle which is the exact size of this two here and we power clip it's like cropping it into this circle here okay uh, okay I'm gonna move this over here because that's the that's the part that I want to show well right now you don't see it because it's behind a photograph okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to arrange okay order to front of page okay so here it is let's just zoom in here okay. okay now in power clip there is uh, one thing that you have really have to remember because if it's not it's not gonna work okay because what we're doing here is we're going to cropping it in this particular particular area of the picture so what I need uh, what you need to do is you go to option or you have to make sure that in option go to option and then click on edit and then make sure this one is unchecked okay that should be unchecked auto center new power clip contents that should be unchecked and then click OK so that the object I mean the photograph will go in to this circle and it won't center it okay so it's going to be exactly the same position that's what we've done okay now we go power clip so click on the object or the photograph and you go to effects go to power clip place inside the container okay where is my container this is my container here so click on that one and it's gonna crop it okay now as you can see I put a, an outline onto the power clip or to the object you can always change that properties by going to the outline pen and you can change the color of the outline or the thickness of the outline say this one and say I want to make it 16 point I'll just exaggerate here so that's what you get a thicker one with the red outline okay but I'll have to uh, undo it uh, another shortcut key for the undo is here and this icon here that's for undo so click that and that's undo okay now I'm done with that uh, I'm gonna move it over here gonna move this object okay so I'm going to move this one and move it over here okay now I'm going to delete this because basically this is just a path and then I put a transparent background with a gradient uh, linear transparency so I delete that and then now I'm ready to make a shape okay so in order to make a shape or a triangular shape I go to this icon here and I click on Bezier tool now what I'm going to do I'm going to make a three point triangle so one two three and I'm gonna close that if you notice when I when I move closer to the uh, to to the node here you notice that there's an arrow okay when the arrow shows up that means to say if I click on that it will close the object so click and there you go so it's closed now I'm going to remove the outline by going to this icon here for the outline 
and I'm going to click on, on the no outline and then I'm going to color this yellow same as this one here so I go to my fill tool my fill icon and I'm going to choose the first one to fill color dialog and then I'm going to I'm going to choose that gold color here okay and then I click OK now the only thing I have to do is to put transparency a linear transparency so I go to my transparency tool which is this icon here interactive transparency tool and then I click and drag okay so I click and drag Okay, make sure that the black box is in this side here and the white square is over here but just in case you had it the the reverse like for example you had it like this right? it's always easy to change it so you just rearrange the order uh, so you make this white square over this side and the black square over this side here okay now this you can always adjust it say I want to adjust that there okay just to make an illusion that it comes from his arm or his fist I mean and then this one is to change the opacity of the gradient over this side okay so I think that's fine and then I click this one because I want this to be on front front of the uh, of the gradient uh, object so I go to arrange order to front of page there you go so I'll zoom out here and there you go so if I look at the whole poster I uh, hit F4 to view the whole the whole object so that's the that's the effect that we just created